It was always a dream come true for me to compete at the Olympic Games. Um, when they announced my name at the Sesco Olympics, there was many mixed emotions. I've been through a lot this year, a lot of injuries, and yet the Lord proved that He can come through for me and that everything is possible through Him. So I'm happy to be in the Olympic team and represent my country. My coach and I have spoken about this at length. For us to go through the through the through the rounds to the semi-final would be good enough for us. Like I said, I've been through a lot of injuries this year and we're starting to bowl again and again. And luckily I'm fully recovered now. And if we can make the final as well, I would be a happy athlete. Running that 49 or 3 seconds and to be able to run 5 sub 50 seconds this year has given me a confidence boost. So now I believe in my ability and I believe I can run for 49 seconds. It's just a matter of time. I think it's the hard work over the past years, the dedication, the perseverance, you know, enjoying myself, doing what I love, doing best. I, um, came all down to running good times and my success. And also I attribute this to my mother. I was only nine years old when I lost my mother and not be able to grow up with her was something difficult. So whenever I step onto the, into, onto the track, it leaves all the pain behind, although it never fades. So I'm doing this all for her. From primary school, I was doing athletics. I was actually a long distance athlete. And the transition came into high school where I decided that distance running isn't for me anymore. So my very first coach told me to do 400 meter and 110 meter hurdles. And one day he just, he just told me to do the 400 meter hurdles. It would, it would make everything so easier to be in the provisional team. And I've tried it and I still can remember my very first race was 63 seconds. And five years later I was able to do it in 49 seconds. There's been so many people that came into my life. And I'm just blessed to have them in my life. Everybody tells their own story. But my role model is Cornell Fedrix. Like I said before, he's just a humble athlete who achieved a lot in life. And yet he's striving to be successful and he wants more out of the sport. So I really look up to him and he, could, he can teach me a lot about the athletics and the pressure, how to handle it, the media, everything.